This is Dr. Zheng Liu. I'm the social professor with the Department of Mechanical Engineering at Texas A&M University. In this short presentation, I will talk about ESTCP EW201142 Energy Performance Monitoring and Optimization System for DoD campus. We will first have some brief introduction of Energy Performance Monitoring and Optimization System, ECMO, and then we will talk about technical components of the ECMO system, and then we will provide some result from the demonstration at Levy Station Great Lakes. So what's the ESTCP EW201142? The ECMO system integrates optimal control algorithms with system performance monitoring, diagnostics, and visualization tools. The control algorithm uses weather forecasting data, zone sensor data, metering data, and the information from the air handling units and the terminal units to generate optimal control schedules to minimize energy consumption at the same time maintain optimal thermal comfort. The app mode diagnostic tools use the sensor and the metering data to detect and isolate equipment faults such as stuck dampers or valves to prioritize the fault correction based on the energy impact. The third key feature of the EPMO is that EPMO visualization tool continuously displays the diagnosed information to facilitate understanding the equipment fault impacts on energy consumption. The last feature of the EPMO is this system was demonstrated in two buildings at Levy Recruiting training center in Great Lakes, Illinois during the 2012-2013 heating season for three air hand units and 54 terminal units. So this shows a block diagram of the EPMO. This EPMO system includes weather forecasting, building HVAC measurements, and physical based models, and then the model-based optimization. And diagnostics also is included. The diagnostics utilize the measurement data from building buildings and the HVAC system. The other key uh, component of this ECMO system is this uh, facility manager interface. So an uh, interface was designed for the facility manage to facilitate facility manage to make a decision. In the next few slides, we're talking about the key component for the EPMO. The first one is the control oriented building system performance and the zone temperature models. Reduced order models for the HVAC system and the buildings are based on thermodynamics thermal free law and the heat transfer analyze, analyze and are the main tool for generating predictions, diagnostics and the control inputs to optimize the plan oper operation and the building energy utilization performance. In here, when we're talking about reducer model, this means a simplified model. So one example is showing these slides. The two figures on this slide uh, illustrate the accepted accuracy for the proposed model. Um, the data in here shows the comparison between the model prediction and the actual measurement. You can see most of the model prediction within the plus minus 15% of the actual uh, measurement. The second component is model-based optimal 
predictive control. Um, MPC module was development to generate real-time optimal site points for the site building HVAC system use algorithms that search for the most energy efficient sequence subject to system constraint for example building comfort component performance and the disturbance this include disturbance from weather by using the control oriented building system performance and the zone temperature models so we are talking about um, two different kind of models one is HVAC system performance models, otherwise the zone temperature dynamic models. The constraints coming from op operational and the thermal comfort constraint also come from plant efficiency constraint. The figure on these slides shows the, the key steps for model particular control. The next key component is the model library and the language for optimization problem formulation. A software package that automates the formulation of an MPC problem for building an HVAC system was developed and employed as part of a project. These two significantly reduced effort lead to design MPC algorithms, therefore reducing the payback time and enhance the scalability of the proposed approach. Uh, the figure on these slides shows the typical workflow from this proposed uh, software package. These include model cre creation, validation, automatically translation to optimi optimization problem, and then export the problem to a server. The next key component is the diagnostics. The diagnostics module was developed and implemented to identify and isolate 40 components or yield configured control schedules. Also, the diagnostic module aims to make visible and prioritize the maintenance of, of facility operation twenty needs by quantifying the energy performance and economy loss. The, the figure on the left, on the right, uh, top shows uh, the proposed Bayesian neck based uh, diagnostic module for VV box. And the, the bottom left uh, figure shows the, uh, some result from the diagnostic module. Uh, first, you can see for normal operated, uh, the VV box and then uh, the anomaly score is normal so uh, you uh, didn't see any uh, thing wrong with the zone temperature variation uh, for the 40 uh, VV box which is uh, a box uh, plowed on the uh, left on the right and then um, we can see the room temperature was not maintained. At the same time, um, our algorithms was able to pick up this uh, uh, anomaly within those high anomaly score. So data also was uh, made available within a promo system. This include a uh, building management system, uh, operation data, HVAC equipment, and usage, and the weather forecasting. At the same time, both estimated and derived parameters from physical based model uh, described in the previous slides, or, um, they are available within the Apple system as well. Then um, the next uh, key component is the fault accommodating control. So model period control, MPC, and diagnostic algorithm have been integrated to generate afford accommodating feature of the optimal system. The optimal control algorithms adapt online to the 40 system by using new constraints value when they are detected by the FDD algorithm. The proposed fault accommodating control was demonstrated um, in the Great Lakes. The two demonstrations have been conducted where faults have been injected by overwriting the BMS 
command for air and units, dampers, and heating coil valve without communicating this override to ABMO system. The FDD algorithms detects the fault, diagnose them, and commute them. The new start actual actuator position to the control algorithms. The proposed control algorithms use those uh, new control, new constraint range of actuator and accommodate the to these new faults by generating the optimal set point with the new constraints. The other uh, component uh, for the AppMo is data management software. A software tool chain was customized to uh, along simulates the communication of the controls and diagnostic the algorithm with the site building automation system. The data management software comprises a set of the drivers and incorporates incorporate a database where history the BMS data were recorded uh, so uh, we can do both offline and online access of data. The demonstration uh, was uh, conducted at the Levy Training Center at the Great Lakes, uh, Building 7113 and the Building 7114. Uh, they are recruit uh, barrack as a long rectangle building, as shown on these slides. Uh, in these two buildings, um, we have uh, compartments, uh, bathroom, laundry room, classroom, um, and also has a, a quarter deck with a two-store atrium and office spaces and a large cafeteria, and cafeteria area. The demonstration um, site uh, has existing uh, Shimon's uh, backnet system. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, there are two PCs. One PC runs the existing Shimon's uh, Apogee uh, BMS other PC running the proposed AppMo system. So that's the PC um, on the right hand side showing this figure. In order to do our demonstration, uh, additional meters and sensors uh, were installed. So showing on this figure, uh, you can see there's some uh, units of firm pressure rise and this, um, the uh, second pump flow rate uh, so uh, measurements through the water flow meter, um, etc., we uh, were installed in this uh, uh, demonstration site. Uh, in terms of the demonstration result, uh, the greater than forty percent reduction in the total energy consumption over the baseline, greater than ten percent reduction in building peak energy energy over the baseline, and the forty percent reduction in building total equipment CO2 emission were achieved during the demonstration period. Um, and then, um, in terms of the four detection diagnostics and in terms of the system robustness, about 84% of the fault were classified correctly. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, system payback, uh, the payback was uh, 3.56 years the savings investment ratio is about 2.06. The net present value is about uh, $86,168. And then um, on the right hand side, those figures basically visualize some of the savings. Uh, for instance, in the bottom uh, compared HVAC savings uh, with the, the baseline the different baseline. Um, so energy reduction uh, was achieved by 30%, 47%, and 50% for different scenarios um, within proposed MPC. So in summary, uh, Apple system was designed, development, implement, and demonstrate at Levy Station Great Lakes. And demonstrate its robustness and scalability by reducing energy consumption by more than 20% and diagnosed the fault with 85% probability of success average over multiple demonstration window during the 
2012 to 2013 heating season, the campus scaled APMO system was implemented as a standalone software environment, compromising of the control and diagnostic algorithms and performance visualization tools that interfaced directly with the existing building management system. The primary concern for the future implementation of the technology is the instrumentation cost and some required skill of modeling and set up the optimization problem. This concludes this uh, presentation. Thank you.